Dear friends, please be aware of these upcoming changes. Congressional lawmakers have announced that new laws are being enacted right now. This news comes as the U.S. inflation rate is continuing to skyrocket. Millions of Americans are expected to see their monthly benefit amounts adjusted due to these changes in inflation. Many are also being removed from several relief programs. My dear friends, please make sure that you watch until the end of this video to learn more about this. Also, to say thank you for being part of this community. My friends, I'll be announcing winners every Friday for the Walmart gift card giveaway. If you would like to enter these weekly giveaway friends, all you have to do is click and like several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. The more videos that you comment on friends, the greater your chances of winning the giveaways. Since President Biden entered the Oval Office in January 2021, spending for SNAP benefits has increased by 27%. This giant increase in SNAP funding has unsurprisingly coincided with a steep rise in food prices. More concerning, due to Biden's unilateral decision to massively expand SNAP benefits, food stamp spending is projected to cost taxpayers more than $1 trillion over the next decade, contributing to even larger grocery store prices in the future. Mr. Speaker, I rise in support of this continuing resolution, which will provide us with the short, ter the short time that's needed to fully conclude the 2024 appropriations process. The continuing resolution keeps the government open while the appropriations committees in the House and the Senate finalize the 2024 funding bills that are in line with the agreement that has been the law since last June, reaffirmed in the top lines agreed to by Leader Schumer and Speaker Johnson earlier this year. While at the time of passing our last continuing resolution, I had hoped that we would not need this measure. You know, we owe it to the American people to do our due diligence in reaching the end of this process. I appreciate the respectful bipartisan cooperation that took place to put forward this continuing resolution and move us closer to the finish line. There is now a shared understanding that the ultimate conclusion to the saga of 2024 funding will be in the appropriations bills that earn the support of Democrats and Republicans in the House and the Senate, bills that will likely need to pass under suspension of the rules, like the bill we are considering today. In addition to passing the 12 appropriations bills, Congress still must respond to President Biden's request for our urgent national security needs. Changes are happening to food stamp eligibility through the federal SNAP program. These changes will impact millions of Americans who receive specific benefits. The SNAP program is undergoing significant adjustments with some policies rolling out gradually over the next year. This information is based on details provided by the United States Department of Agriculture. These SNAP changes stem from the Fiscal Responsibility Act passed on June 3rd, which not only suspended the debt ceiling, but also introduced discretionary spending limits and alterations to mandatory programs aimed at reducing the deficit. Additionally, there are new exemptions for veterans, homeless individuals, and young adults aging out of foster care. Currently, adults age 18 to 49 years old are subject to the time limit, which dictates that they can receive SNAP benefits for only three months within a three-year period if they do not meet certain work requirements. The age limit increases to 50 years old, and then on October 1st, 2024, the age limit becomes 54 years old. However, the Food and Nutrition Act allows states to request temporary waivers in areas with an unemployment rate exceeding 10% or insufficient job opportunities. A leading consumer advocacy group has issued its support for a piece of congressional legislation that aims to bolster the SNAP by increasing federal funding and improving access to healthier foods for SNAP recipients. In a recent statement, the Center for Science in the Public Interest 
back the op for health with SNAP Act of 2023. According to the statement, the bill would strengthen the U.S. government's Gus Schumacher Nutrition Incentive Program by boosting funding to $3.5 billion over five years and then eliminating the state's matching requirement, the president of the advocacy group said in a statement. Few Americans consume the recommended amount of fruits and vegetables, and for shoppers utilizing SNAP, cost remains a significant barrier. The proposed incentive improves access to fruits and vegetables for shoppers utilizing SNAP by providing financial aid. So dear friends, what are your thoughts on this? Please let me know what your thoughts are in a comment section below. Hawaii and Alaska are the two only states that receive different maximum payments compared to the other 48 states and Washington, D.C. In the Aloha state, a household of one can receive a maximum payment of $538. A household of four can receive as much as $1,794. And then a household of eight can receive as much as $3,230. Well, my beautiful and my most amazing friends, that is the end of my daily stimulus update video. My dearest friends, thank you so very much for being here and for being part of this community. To show my appreciation, every Friday, I will be announcing winners for the Walmart gift card giveaway. If you would like to enter these weekly giveaway friends, Please click and like several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. The more videos that you comment on, my dearest friends, the greater your chances of winning these giveaways. Thank you and have a wonderful and very blessed weekend.